So I've been using Remno for the past couple of months, and I have also made videos on how I use it as a university student to take down my university notes. But one thing that I haven't gotten into yet is how I use Remno for personal knowledge management, and that's what I want to cover in this video. So before we get into how I use Remnote, I want to talk about some features of Remnote that differentiate it from other apps. This is not to say that there aren't apps like Remnote. Rome Research and Obsidian are basically in the same class as Remnote, but Remnote is different from other apps like Notion or Evernote in the fact that it has a free flowing structure. There's no inherent skeletal structure to follow, so you don't have folders and documents that you need to write in. You basically write wherever you want and you link notes together and that's what i want to get into first so a linked reference a linked reference is basically what it sounds like it's a text reference which links it to another note so for example if i write ali abdel so oh, so what i did there was i put two square brackets and if i start typing ali abdel now i've mentioned ali abdel in a lot of my notes because he recommends a lot of great books and podcasts. So if I just click enter here, you can see that this text is different from the usual text. So, so this is what the usual text looks like. Ali Abdal is a blue text and you can see it's sort of like a hyperlink. Now, if I click this, it's going to go into a page called Ali Abdal and this is the magic. So you can see that there is a portal, a search portal, which is searching for the term Ali Abdal. This is basically looking for the places in my knowledge base where I have mentioned or referenced to Ali Abdal. So you can see that he recommended these books to me. Uh, this is a video by him, which I took notes on. We'll get into those and you can see the Remno tutorial page Which we just came from Ali Abdal is what usual text looks like whatever, but you can see how It's linked to that note and if I go back you can see that that link is also there in that page now How is this useful? So let me get into it So my central hub for all my notes is the daily note function of Remno So I would basically treat my daily note like my daily scratch pad I would use my daily note to jot down my thoughts because your brain is a great idea generator, but it's not good for storing ideas. So for example, let's go into the daily notes section. And we can see that I have been writing notes for the past week or so. And let's go into December 21st because I remember writing pretty good notes here. All right, so this is how I use my daily notes. So I wrote these sections out the previous day. So my day at a glance and my to-dos. So my day at a glance was basically like a mini calendar. I had a COVID test that day, so I put that in. And my to-dos, I had to I'll go for the COVID test and I had to study cancer genetics and also shoot a video on habits, which I didn't do clearly. And under that, we can see the notes that I took on that day itself. So over here in this section, we have things that I consumed. So I essentially consumed one thing that day, which was a video, 20 life lessons I learned in 2020 by, well, Ali Abdal. So this is this is the reference I was talking about earlier. We could see it in the Ali Abdal page. It showed that Ali Abdal is being referenced on this certain page and it, it gets pretty useful. I'll show you how. So, well, I took some notes on this. So if I just shift click this and you can see all the notes that I've taken on this and you can see where I've used references now. The first line was a book recommendation uh, called the top five regrets of the dying. So I made that into a rem reference. So if I shift click that so it opens on the side, we can see that I have tagged it as TBR. So tags are basically used to sort your rem into different categories because you don't essentially have folders as such. So you can make tags and you can search for the tags to find things that relate to the same thing. So TBR stands for to be read. I have tagged it as TBR. If I click the TBR, you can see the books that I want to read and they have all been linked TBRs. If I ever want to see the books that I have been recommended and the books that I want to read, I will just go to my TBR section. Now, under that, we have some notes that I have taken on some ideas. So one of them is have to versus get to. So this is an idea. So the note I have taken is instead of saying you have to do something and be upset over it, say that you get to cultivate happiness inside you by thinking of the things you actually get to do. You can see that this reference looks a little bit different because there's a little page on the side. Now, this is because I have made this reference into a document. Now, a document is the same as a reference. There's no real big difference between a document, a bullet point and a folder. It's just a organizational hierarchy kind of thing. So if I shift click this, we can see that I have taken the note. So I have basically pushed the note on have to versus get to into a section called evergreen notes and under that happiness, which I will get into soon. But I essentially did that by clicking the little three documents, hitting move document and moving it to happiness. And you can see that I have also done that for age quod agis, which basically means do what you are doing, be present and mindful when doing a task. Also very 
thoughtful and mindful to think about. And under that, we can see another use for the tags. So Ali spoke about something called the Odyssey plan, which is when you write out what your life will look like in five years from now. And uh, if you go down your current path, if you take a completely different path and if money and social, blah, blah, blah. It's basically a couple of questions to ask yourself. And I wanted to answer these questions, but at that moment, I didn't have time. So I basically pushed this into what I want to talk about next, my content inbox. So I essentially tagged this. So I just hit hash tag and content inbox and well, it's already there. So it's not. And if I go into my content inbox, we can see what all I have tagged as my content inbox. Now, my content inbox is basically what I will go to if I am not studying or if I'm not doing anything in particular. And I would see what I can take notes on, if it's something that I recently read or if it's something I recently listened to. My content inbox is basically my central place for the things that I want to take notes on. And Remnode really makes it easy because I can just tag something and it's just going to show up automatically. Now, one section I want to talk about is book notes. So before we get into evergreen notes, I feel like I need to talk about book notes and podcast notes. So for example, let's go into The Obstacle is the Way. It's a great book by Ryan Holiday. Now on top, we can see that the author is Ryan Holiday, recommended by Ali Abdal, and I have tagged it as content inbox. So it shows up in my inbox. So I know I need to take notes on this. And I just recently finished reading this book. So I started taking some notes on it. So apart from perception, blah, 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 blah. Over here, it's just essentially a normal note taking app, but where it would differentiate is for example, over here, we can see that this is such a nice quote. So this is a quote from the book that I thought was really nice. So businesses opportunities are like buses. There's always another one coming around. So I would tag it as coats and you know, I have a page for coats. It's essentially tagging just things that you like. And sometimes I would come across something that I really resonate with, and then I would send it to my evergreen notes section. So let's go there. So my evergreen notes, I basically have folders. So you can see that these are folders. These are essentially bullet points, but since they have documents in them, they're called folders, but they work the same as a regular bullet point. I have a folder for time management, happiness, social relationships, productivity, money, goals, and mindfulness. Within each one of these, I have different sections. So under mindfulness, I have Age Kuwadages, which I got from Ali Abdal's video. So if I click into that, I can see that I have referenced it and I can see when I have made my note on Age Kuwadages. So it was on December 21st, 2020. And you know, it just shows what the note is. I make evergreen notes because I feel like it's a really good way to come up with ideas for my newsletter and to make videos because the evergreen notes section clubs together similar ideas and I can club together similar ideas, take a bit from here, take some bit from here and club them into something that's my own with some creative ideas. So similar to book notes, I also use it for podcast notes. Now this is quite fun. I use an app called air for this. So air is an amazing app, which I would highly recommend you use for your podcast because it essentially helps you take notes. I will be making a video on it soon. But what you need to know is I would just go into air and then I would, I would copy and paste the notes that I've taken the transcripts into Remnote and then take my notes on it and come up with ideas and try to link all these ideas together and then put it into my evergreen notes. It's, it's pretty simple. And honestly, I'm a beginner at this, so I'm still learning how I can be more efficient with taking these notes. But I feel like the important part was to actually start making notes because taking notes on the things you read and the things you write will help you cultivate more ideas, which you can use for making content and which you can use to learn. And, you know, you can apply these techniques in your own life. So that's kind of it for how I use Remnode for personal knowledge management. If you want to know how I use it for university notes, I would highly recommend checking out this video, which I will be linking somewhere here. And if you enjoy this kind of content, consider subscribing and liking to the channel so you can catch my content in your inbox. I will catch you in the next one then. Goodbye.